I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a collection of items sent to us from Roland from the UK. And so we're probably going to divide his box up into three different videos because he sent us a lot of stuff. It was very generous. Yes, thank you. And we don't want to try too many things at once because I feel like I can't appreciate them as well if we try too many at the same time. So we're going to break this down and this is going to be our first collection. We tried to gather things that are, you know, like chocolate bars and we got some clotted cream fudge mm -hmm. and we are going to give these a try. Yes. So let's go ahead and start over here. We kind of tried to go, looks like the lighter chocolate to the darker stuff. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, first one. Milky bar. Now, have you ever had a milky bar before? No. Mm -mm. I know we've seen these at Touch of Britain. Mm -hmm. I think we have seen at Touch of Britain, you're right. Just. <clears throat> So it's got one of those with the instructions on how to actually open the package. There was a little dig because I wasn't opening it fast enough. <laughs> it's instructions, dear. <laughs> okay. Is that by Nestle, did it say? It's by the good people yeah, Nestle. at Nestle. Sharing bar. Which we are doing. We are sharing. So I'm assuming this is a, a white chocolate bar? That's what I'm assuming. It looks... Alright. It's got the Nestle logo on it. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Boop. What do you think? It's not too bad. No. So we'll have to start this out with Ross and I aren't big white chocolate fans. I actually like that. Yeah, and it's not like we won't eat it, but it's one of those things if we got milk and dark chocolate in a bowl, along with the white chocolate. White chocolate will be the stuff that's left at the end. We always get through the, the milk and dark chocolate first. Yeah, but that's I not, like that. Yeah, it's not bad yeah. for a white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Milk is our number one ingredient, it says. All yeah, right. it's not bad at all. Yeah. No artificial colored flavors or preservatives either. So there you go. Yes. So oh. next up. We have. Um, we do like it though when it's like the white and other kind of chocolate combined. Which is what we have here. Mm -hmm. The Kit Kat Zebra. <clears throat> well, last time we had Kit Kat was what? Um, Halloween? Was it? Maybe. I don't know that we've tried it too many international Kit Kats, have we? Okay, and it's got like three little things in there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> yeah, this package contains three of these. Uh, we have our, as I know we've mentioned before, our Cost Plus store. And I know that in the Asian section where they have the Asian candies, um, Asian foods, seems like there's a ton of Kit Kats. Like mm -hmm. uh, green tea. The matcha green tea. Matcha yeah. green tea, strawberry. A few uh, Asian flavors. I don't think many others, though. Yeah. And we, in the past, tried them. I thought they were they're fine. Liked them. Yeah. But I don't think we have anything like the zebra here that I can recall. No, I don't recall seeing that. So. And I know you eat Kit Kats more than I do, so you probably know better than me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break of that Kit, Kit Kat, Kat bar. Mm. That's very pretty. Nice swirl of the dark and white chocolate in there. Will they say that about the meat? Nice marbling. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And you love dark chocolate too. Because there's really a lot of dark mm. chocolate flavor to it. I mean, it says it has the white, but I'm not really noticing the white chocolate that much. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. And I think most of our Kit Kats come in milk chocolate, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is a little different, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good choice. <laughs> yeah, no complaints. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, dark chocolate makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. Seems to me when I was a kid, I, I remember... It was just milk chocolate and seemed as 
I got older, it's like, I don't know, I've seen these more variety types of Kit Kat. Always fun to try different. Yes. Different versions of familiar candy. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So let's try clotted cream fudge next. Now we've, we've tried clotted cream fudge before and we know we love it. We have not tried the M&S brand. So in Roland's letter, he mentioned Marks and Spencer and I didn't recognize it at first because I thought, well, I hadn't heard of that. And I thought, oh, well, I've heard of M&S. So now I caught on to that. <laughs> and this says it's using Cornish clotted cream and cooked in traditional copper kettles. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, powdered cream fudge, definitely another thing that we don't see here. Yeah, we have a we like. the store very close to us, Home Goods, that occasionally we'll see powdered cream fudge, and every time we see it, oh, gotta pick it up. That's one of those things we see once in a while. Yeah, and it's always imported, so. Yeah. Boop. Not made here. Mm hmm. Very soft too. Yes. I think even softer than some other ones we've tried in the past. I think you're right. It's a really nice flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and very sweet too. Yes. It's always so sweet. I like it though. Me too. It's very good. Uh, I would agree. I think that's softer than one we just had. Mm hmm I think we've had maybe three different kinds in the past. And I don't know. This one seems extra soft to me. Yeah. I like yep. it. Very I do good. too. Next up, we have Mr. Tom. Now, this is a brand I don't think we've ever seen or heard of before. No. And this says it's peanuts in caramel. It's interesting little pictures on the packaging, too. All right, so for anybody who hasn't seen one before, that's what it looks like. Oh. You want to split this in half or? Sure. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to make a mess out of that. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a payday. I know but our, our American candy bar payday has a nougat. I don't, I don't know if it's caramel and nougat. I don't know that I've had a payday. You've never had a payday. I don't know that I have. Does it not have chocolate then? No. No, okay. Pedro does not have chocolate. Okay. Okay. Does that remind you of a payday? I think this is better because <laughs> yeah, that salty sweet. Where I think with the um, the payday candy bar, you get the sweetness of the nougat that you don't have in this. This is more like the just a salty sweet. Mm -hmm. kind of, uh, not as sweet. Yeah, I, I think I'd prefer this one. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, especially if you love peanuts. It reminds me a little bit of um, Cracker Jacks. See, I thought you were about to say peanut brittle. Yeah, I guess, yeah, peanut brittle would be a good one too. It reminds me a little bit of Cracker Jacks because they do have the peanuts and the caramel. You're just missing the popcorn. Yeah. Reminds me of those same flavors you get in there though too. But yeah, you're right. Peanut brittle would be another good comparison. But I think compared to peanut brittle, there's more peanuts in here. Oh, yeah. Compared to what we'd get in peanut brittle. <clears throat> yeah, agreed. But yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen this at uh, Touch of Britain. Yeah, I don't recall seeing that at all there. Of course, their, their inventory changes up. We'll see new things occasionally. Yeah. You made quite the mess here. <laughs> <laughs> I got the peanut shrapnel all over yeah. the table. So, so next up, we have Toblerone. And this is actually one we do find here. I'm when I mean find here, I'm talking like in Target or Walmart. Mm -hmm. This is you can actually find pretty easily here. Um, I don't know why some brands seem to be able to make it here with no problem, and others we just never see. And Toblerone, yeah, Switzerland. I was going to say this is a, a European mm -hmm. chocolate. If I remember, does it have hazelnuts? No, Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. I think around Christmas, too, we see different uh, varieties of this candy. Oops. Uh, they're like dark chocolate. 
instead of milk chocolate. I didn't do a good job opening this. It didn't open all the way. If you want me to take over? I got it. <laughs> yeah, I remember they kind of looked like little uh, Matterhorns. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, thank you. Mm. I remember having a coworker just absolutely loving these, taking these to work all the time and sharing with us. Oops, I put that broke off too. <laughs> Making a bigger mess over here. Boop. All right. Mm. <laughs> Something about those little bits. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't think I ever paid much attention that it was the honey and almond nougat. Right. But of course, it's been a really long time since I've had the Toblerone. Top notch. Mm-hmm. I always love these. Yeah, something about that. The honey and the nougat. Nice combination of flavors. Mm-hmm. Good chocolate. And I love almond flavor, too, so. Yeah. Very good. Yep. All right. That's a choice. There's a little extra one we'll have to fight over later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two left. Okay. We've got Cadbury Bourneville Giant Buttons Dark Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead and open that. Uh, love Cadbury chocolate. <laughs> Never had. And you that. love dark chocolate, so yeah, win-win. And I like it too, but I know that's like one of your faves. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they look like little buttons. I don't know. I might have. I've got a couple stuck together. There we go. <laughs> cool. Oops, getting all melty on my fingers. <laughs> Love dark chocolate. Mm. Now, I know your mom baked. You said your mom would bake cookies. You and your mother would bake cookies together? Mm hmm. Would you bake anything with chocolate buttons? No, huh? I remember. We, we didn't make chocolate chip cookies very often. No. No. Mm -mm. But yeah, I was thinking that reminds me of like the, the semi sweet chocolate that you often put in cookies. It, it does remind me of that. I know my, I mentioned before my mom uh, did a lot of baking, still does, but I seem to remember growing up she would make cookies around the holidays where she would have like chocolate buttons. Oh really? Yeah. Do you like, remember what kind? Because I can't picture them. Uh, they were kind of the equivalent, and I know you, you're going to know exactly which one I'm, I'm talking about. It's almost like a snickerdoodle, but you put like a Hershey's Kiss in the center. If she didn't use mm -hmm. the Hershey's Kisses, she would use these Got it. dark chocolate buttons. Loved them both. Yeah, so. Yeah, these are good. Do you remember who made the buttons here? Oh, I want to say Nestle. <laughs> Is it Nestle? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I, rem I remember those ones with the Hershey's Kiss on top. Definitely. But I don't, I don't remember anybody using buttons for those. Yeah. So, yeah, those are nice. Like, if you just want a little... I love the, the thinness of them is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Portion control. <laughs> and dark chocolate's supposed to be good for you, right? Yes. <laughs> We don't have to feel guilty about eating those, right? Well, after sampling so many different kinds, I'm going to feel <laughs> guilty. Yeah. But. We'll feel a little guilty after this. But. Yeah. All right. So last one we have is Cadbury Dairy Milk. And again, we're not sure that this D-A-I-M, whether that's Dame or Dime. Yeah, if you could let us know. Yeah. So looking forward to trying that one. What does it say is in it? It doesn't say on the front. So I guess we will find out. <laughs> I'm showing my age here. <laughs> so I got my glasses on. Yeah. Yeah, because we're used to just the plain Cadbury Dairy Milk bars that are just the plain milk chocolate. And you can see it looks like it has some kind of nuts maybe yeah. in it. Not seeing it right away, but uh, yeah. Okay. It's nice that... Um, wrapper resealable that is nice yeah i like they they open very neatly don't they yeah. 
There you go. Boop. Mmm. Mmm. That toffee. I wonder, does it say? Those are really good. Yeah. Milk expect. chocolate with crunchy almond caramel pieces. Mmm. I like that. That's very good. Yeah. That's a great flavor. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what of equivalent do we have here. We could easily just pick up at a store. I'm not really thinking of anything that's... I can't uh, think either. Oh, yeah. It seems like there should be something, but... Yep. You know, we don't really buy candy bars all the time, so... Yeah. I'm not as familiar with them. I just know my couple of favorites that I that are my go-tos, but that's really nice. That was really good. Yeah. Because I know we have... Um, <clears throat> it, it doesn't compare to this. Uh, <laughs> I, I know I've kind of referred to Hershey's as gas station chocolate. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, didn't really have a lot of exposure to different kinds of chocolate. Yeah, I thought Hershey's was just fine. And I know that yeah, you can get, easily go to a store and get you know, your milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate, milk chocolate with almonds. It just does not compare to this. It's, yeah, uh, and, you know, it's one of those things too, you know, it's, it's what we grew up with. So it's right. kind of what you're used to. And I think that's part of it. But I, I don't ever really remember buying just a plain Hershey's chocolate bar just... No. Not that much, no. Uh, I mean, I always like, like maybe, say, Mr. Good Bar or the, what was the other one with the, the Nestle, Nestle Crunch, or but Crunch. I think Hershey's has their own version. Um, oh, uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name of it, but it's got the puffed rice in it. Yeah. Crackle. 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 Okay. Yeah. But, I, mean, I always preferred stuff like that rather than just the plain old old chocolate bar and I think that kind of helps with the because you know Hershey's it, I know Europeans always go after the the uh, flavor of it yeah. tastes like vomit that kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I always got to me was it has almost a grainy type texture to it yeah grainy kind of scratchy it's not the smoothest yeah. and uh, it kind of surprised me because when you were telling me you didn't get chocolate bars very often as a kid I, I know that say when I was a wee lad, <laughs> and I'd go shopping, grocery shopping with my mother, um, getting close to the checkout. Well, they always have them close to the checkout. Oh, candy bars. Candy bars. Hey, you want a candy bar? Pick up a candy bar. Pick up Snickers, Three Musketeers, Hershey's. Uh, but I just remember uh, getting back to this particular bar. Uh, it, this makes, like, a Hershey's almond bar it just seems so plain. Yeah, it because, does. It, yeah, it's, uh, I believe it's, Dry, what, dry roasted almonds with chocolate. And they're like whole and, almonds. And whole okay, almonds. Yeah. It's not this sweet, crunchy, mm -hmm. almost has a toffee-like. Has something a little extra in it, yeah. Yeah. So, nice choice. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I was a fat kid growing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my mom didn't uh, buy me the, the candy at the checkout stand very often that I can recall. No, no. <laughs> You're probably thinner than I was. So. <laughs> yeah. so, should we pick a favorite out of these? <sighs> <laughs> oh, geez, um, that's gonna be tough. So everything was good. Everything, yeah. Um, ladies first. I think I'm gonna go with that. This Cadbury bar, I really like that. Okay. Yeah. Toblerone, though, those are really good, too. And, of course, we always love our clotted cream fudge. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Ross can't make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> each one had its, many choices. Yeah, each one had its own merit. Uh, if I was going to pick my favorite, I would go with the kind of a tie between these two, the Toblerone and the dairy milk. There was something about biting into that chocolate and having a little... Bit of something crunchy and sweet mm -hmm. like that. It was, yeah. and they're like little pieces too, which makes it kind of nice rather than like the whole nut, which sometimes I like. But I do mm -hmm. like these these little chunks as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a shame that some of these things we can we can find fairly. I, the easiest thing we can find is a Toblerone. Yeah, and if we go to certain stores, 
maybe we can find the Kit Kats. But um, yeah. I don't know. I have not seen those zebra Kit Kats. I was thinking like we saw at uh, Touch of Britain. I think had the Milky Bar. They did. It was smaller though. That's a that's a yeah yeah. It was a little small bar. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if they had the Bourneville or not. Maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't recall seeing that. And if we're lucky, once in a while, when we go shopping to home, at Home Goods, we can occasionally, once in a while, once in a blue moon, find clouded cream yeah. fudge. Yeah, that's very hit and miss. But once we find it, we make sure that we get as much as we can. <laughs> and it's interesting because our, you know, Touch of Britain does carry Cadbury chocolate, but I don't think I've seen this particular flavor of it. So I, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't recall ever seeing that. I, yeah. If I saw it again, I'd definitely pick it up. That's that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you again, Roland. This was so kind. We really look forward to trying the other items that you sent us. I think it'll probably be two more videos to try to tackle all of that. And I think after this, we're going to maybe pick through a few of these before we <laughs> yeah. seal them up and save them for another day. So if you like food reactions, food unboxings, and food tastings, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.